good morning and happy new year. Today is January 1st, 2021, and we are having a slow start to the morning. The kids woke up late and they're watching a little bit of cartoons, and I think they want cereal for breakfast, which is fine with me. Um, Michael um, normally has today off, but he is helping out my sister and brother-in-law with their business today. And so he's going to be gone until about 4.30. So I'm feeling good about the new year and productive. So I made a little to-do list this morning. And on that to-do list is one that's always on my to-do list. And that's to finish all the laundry. I also want to make some soup out of that ham bone um, that I made the other day. And I also want to deep clean my fridge, my cupboards, and make a really good grocery list because we have not gone grocery shopping in almost two and a half, three weeks. And so we are running very low on everything. And so I am going to go grocery shopping on Sunday. So I am just going to finish this coffee, feed the kids their breakfast. They're probably gonna play with one of their new Christmas toys and I'm going to get started on making my split pea soup. Nothing fancy in the recipe. There are a few tricks that I've learned from my mom who's learned them from her grandma. So I will definitely share those with you guys. Mm -hmm. Spin it. Right. So with it being the new year, I know a lot of people set this goal, but I really want to start reading more and I want to start, you know, I would normally read a lot of fiction before, which is fine. If you like fiction, that's great. But I also wanted to start learning more. I, that's one of my words for this year is growth. So some of the, these are all, well, this is a new book. I actually bought this at the Dollar Tree. If you're not checking your Dollar Tree book section, you need to start because they have some of the best books. I've gotten one of the best cookbooks I own from there. And this book, I started a couple days ago. I'm a couple chapters in and it is seriously so good. The rest of these, I got this at a yard sale. I got um, this one over here at the thrift store. And then this was a gift from my dad. This was his. And I want to get back into reading this every day. Um, and then the rest I got from a website called Thrift Books. And my friend actually told me about it. And I am now hooked because I got, let's see, this book, Boundaries, When to Say Yes, When to Say No. I got the five love languages of children, um, the seven habits of highly effective families, uh, you can heal your life, and the four agreements. I got all of those books, all five, for less than $20 free shipping. And All right, so on my to-do list today was to take this ham bone and make it into a huge pot of split pea soup that I can portion out and throw in the chest freezer. So... What I'm using is I have this celery that honestly has seen better days. It's a little sad. I only have these four carrots left. Um, some garlic, onion, um, this is leftover gravy from our turkey dinner last night. And the key to good split pea soup is mashed potatoes. That is a tip that my mom taught me that was taught to her by her grandma. Um, I also have these bay leaves that I'm going to use. These were gifted to me from my mom who was gifted them from one of her clients. And then a huge bag of split peas. And then of course my salt and pepper dish. Okay. So once you get everything chopped up, you're going to add to a big stock pot. You're gonna warm up some olive oil and then add in the carrots, celery, and onion, and then just get a little bit of color on those. So once 
the onions start to become translucent. Um, I added the ham bone in and then filled the pot full of water. I'm gonna bring this up to like a low boil, then turn the heat down and place my lid over top and let that cook. I normally let it go for about an hour just so that the broth has a really good flavor. I just took this out of the soup and it's done. I'm gonna let it cool for a minute and then I'm gonna get my forks in here and just kind of rip apart the meat. And then over here in the pot, I still have it on low and I just added my rinsed split peas. I'm gonna put the lid on and start letting that cook while I take the meat off okay, of the so bone. I picked all of the meat off. This is what I was left with. There was a lot of meat, too much for the amount of soup that I was making. So I'm gonna freeze this container and just label it ham for soup. And then I can make like a ham and white bean soup with it um, whenever we're in the mood. Um, this is like the yuckies. And I'm gonna give that to my chickens as a little treat. And then this is what was left on the bone. Okay, so the split peas are done. They're nice and tender. And what I'm gonna do now is I have this um, like blender, it's not the blender part, it's like the attachment for like smoothies. And this just works a little bit better than my normal blender. So I have some leftover mashed potatoes in there. And I'm gonna take a spoonful of broth and of split peas. I'm gonna try not to get any of the carrots or leftover meat in there. And then I'm just going to fill this up to the top. Okay, so I blended two of those bottles worth of um, the split pea, the broth, and the potatoes. You're gonna add that back to the soup. And I didn't add all of the split pea. I didn't blend it all. I left some of it in the soup so that you do have a little bit of texture and it's not just all mush. So then you're gonna stir that up. Okay, so I added everything back in, and now I'm gonna let this cool a little bit to see how it thickens, and then I will taste it to see if it needs um, any salt or pepper. Cool. Alright, so I finished putting together the meal plan that I'm going to go grocery shopping for. So I have the meatball stroganoff. Monday I'm going to do something simple because I actually have um, some dental work that needs to be done and I'm not going to want to have to deal with making dinner that night. So I'm just going to get some soup out of the freezer and just make grilled cheese. Tuesday, tamale pie. Wednesday, leftovers. Um, Thursday, I'm going to try a new recipe out of this cookbook we got this at the Dollar Tree and we've made a couple things out of it and everything's been super good so I'm gonna try this roasted garlic and apricot chicken I have some um, drumsticks in the freezer so I will use that and I might have a few thighs so we'll see what I have for that and then Friday we are gonna be gone most of the day it's actually my grandma's funeral and it's all the way for you local people, it's in Gresham. So it's kind of far from us. So we might eat out. We might make sandwiches when we get home. Just something simple. And then Saturday, I'm going to try this recipe out of the Magnolia Table Cookbook. I just got this the other day. And I don't know how to pronounce it. Fatayar? I'm not sure. I'm probably not saying that right. Um... The only thing I'm going to change is this calls for like frozen hash browns and then like Pillsbury dough, which it'll just be cheaper for me to grate my own potatoes and make my own dough. So I just got to find a dough recipe for that. And then Sunday, um, I want to do breakfast for dinner. I have some Kodiak cake mix. Um, I have some sausages already and then eggs and fruit to go with that. Um, Michael just called. He's off of work. He 
is bringing some sub sandwiches for dinner. And then once we eat, we are going to actually head out to the grocery store. I was gonna go on Sunday, but we decided to go today. Um, so it all works out. I made my grocery list anyways. Um, so we're gonna go do that. We'll come back, unload groceries, and then do our uh, New Year's resolutions. Shopping. Mm hmm Learn how to bake. Wow. Good goals. Thank you. Wow. This is Barrett's goals. It does say Barrett's goals. Good job. What does your first goal say? To grow a cucumber. Mm-hmm. One? That one says, see a waterfall. See a waterfall. And the next one you wrote says, go to space. Go to space. And the last one says, draw more, which you did a very good job drawing on your goal list. Draw more. You want to draw more? Good job, bud. <laughs> Here are my goals for 2021. My first one is that I want to grow 200 pounds of produce in our backyard. Last year, I grew a total of 114 pounds. I want to try cooking four new recipes a month and make sure that they're dairy-free. I want to buy secondhand when we can, um, just to continue on our goal from last year of reducing our family's waste. I want to start reading 30 minutes every day. And I also want to um, stretch every day so that I can do the splits by the end of the year. And then my three words for 2021 um, is gratitude, confidence, and growth. All right, that's the end of our video. I just wanted to hop on real quick and say thank you guys for taking time out of your busy lives to watch my videos. It really means a lot. So I just wanted to say thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Say bye. Mm. <laughs> bye.